it's about time he's now officially part of the Accents team. The team is me and him. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I want to be honest, I feel like shit. I didn't sleep, just took care of business shit, listened to a whole lot of demos, took care of the Accents label, upcoming releases. There is another one that just is going out today by Slider called Memories. I will link it down below in the description. And in just two weeks, the next release by the Noise Geeks, a huge one called No Time, extremely good production and vocals. And then again, two weeks later, my next release called Never Again. So busy, busy, busy with the label stuff. And I'm just waiting for someone to help me. Leonard is here. As you know, Leonard is assisting me a little bit, helping me with emails and all this kind of stuff. Is it still fun? It's still fun and Good. talking a lot of it with my friends, it's super exciting. Okay, okay. <laughs> I didn't tell him to say that. He's also the label manager of Sign Up. That's yeah. entirely his, he's taking care of it. So I have a little bit more time to do new projects. If you don't know what Sign Up is. Yes, Sign Up is the sub-label of Accents. So exactly. yeah, we give the opportunity to you to release your music. It's you just like. <laughs> like 60 bucks and your track gets released on all stores, Spotify, Beatport, Amazon, every single store that is out there. You get 100% of the money, all of the shares, everything is yours. You can cancel the contract anytime, all of the rights are yours. You can put it out on YouTube and we help you with promotion. We pitch it to the stores so you have a higher chance to get a feature and Leonard is taking care of putting it in the sign up playlist as well as doing a SoundCloud repost for you guys. So you get a little bit of promotion on top of that. Yeah. So, so. let's... Um, just write me an email. Yeah, just write him. Or I, I put the link down below in the description. You have still to apply. It's still kind of limited. But um, maybe one day we will make it like big and public. I don't know. We will see how it works. So let's exactly take care of that. Label stuff. And I listen to some accents, demos, and work, 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 work. A uh, quick change of plans. Leonard wants to see the pictures and the floor plan and everything of the new studio. It's really cool. You you will love it. You get an entire floor just for yourself. It it's it's awesome. so much space. <laughs> We could even, um, yeah, table tennis, no problem. We could even like do like like with the bow archery shoot stuff, dart, yeah. pool. There should There's be a, an, of an artist fun area. Yes, definitely. Like definitely. Aoki's Playhouse or something like that. <laughs> yeah, but a little bit cooler and and dirtier. We we will make it happen. <laughs> Yeah, so that's how we're working. That's why we need a bigger space, uh, both laptops and the laps. We're, we're now still not really done with work, but I wanted to use this opportunity to actually introduce to you Leonard. He's now here for three weeks, four weeks? Four weeks, I guess. So yeah. it's about time. He's now officially part of the Accents team. The team is me and him. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing the sign up label management, hopefully soon. Also the Accents label management and a bunch of other things I can't really talk about. But uh, he's a great help and also a music producer and DJ. He's actually DJing tonight in a radio show here in the city. And he was yesterday at the Frankfurt Music Messe. Fair. fair, music fair. Is yeah. it fair? Is it I know that I know fair, but I think they also in English call it music mess. Okay, yeah. I'm mm -hmm. not sure, okay. but yeah, it's a fair <laughs> for music equipment, just gear, right? Yeah, it's like a, a material gear war. It's so there's two parts, like a music fair and a technic fair, yeah. and there are one side the musicians, other side all this stage building companies with all the lasers and so the big stuff yeah. like so the like the Tomorrowland main stage. Yeah, there is also the the company that makes the Tomorrowland stage okay. is having a big show. So the pyro stuff, you can yeah. see all of that and That's the light lasers pretty, and pretty fun and stuff. That's really impressive. I was thinking about going there, but um, I don't know what did I do yesterday. Oh yeah, I was busy with lawyer stuff and the new studio and everything. Maybe next year. But yeah. for business stuff, yeah. it's not that. And it's just like walking around in gear. Gear. Yeah, and it, and for me, it's always frustrating because I can't pay it because <laughs> I can't get that kind of gear. And I also guess it's more for um, 
Yeah, not like electronic musicians. It's more for okay, so real like bands, and, piano and players. Okay, it's um, kind of a music store, just in big, yeah, big, big. Really. So yeah, if you want to follow this guy around to these kind of things, he has an Instagram. I will link it down below. Just hit that like and subscribe and whatever, and we will continue with the business yeah. stuff. Bye bye. Bye bye. A really great guy, he's doing a good job and I can't wait to see him again next week, work even more and hopefully be able to place him in that new huge big studio. <laughs> nice handbag. Thank you. Was your day good? Yeah. Good news? No news. This thing with the news, it's a secret, I can't tell you anything about it. Right? I don't know what you're talking about. See, it's so secret, she pretends like it's not even existing. But maybe one day. Now, what are we doing? Dinner? Birthday party. Birthday, another birthday. Okay. So, we're back. The food was good, the company was good. Just a nice evening. I just still don't feel that good. So... I will just cut it here. I don't know, maybe today's vlog sucks a little, but that's just the way it is. Sometimes this happens if you do it daily. You just sometimes can't deliver as you wish you could actually do. But I also think that's like kind of the interesting thing of a daily vlog to sometimes make something that isn't that good. The next day try to make something even better. And sometimes the things that fail and you then try to rescue them are the most interesting. That's at least what I think. I'm sure you know these situations. This also sometimes happens with my music. You make a song, work on it, try it, and you end up with a result that is just bad. And the best thing is just to forget about it. And the next day, try it again. I will now just watch some YouTube and try to fall asleep while watching something. It's a little hard though, because at the moment, <laughs> All videos are either tinfoil, ball, trance, Fortnite gaming, or this this weird remix yodel kit. Not my thing. I promise you, you won't see any of this kind of shit on this channel. So, sign out. <laughs>